Hi, this is Knighted. This is my first silver video. I'd like to thank Silver Stallion over at WhiteNewSnow.com for introducing me to this company, First Majestic Silver Corporation. Um, I did some searching online there and really uh, didn't find these guys. Before that I tried uh, getting some silver through a bank and I found out what a invasive experience that was. They want to know everything about you. They want to know your name. They want to know your address. They want to know your telephone number. They want your social insurance number. They require several pieces of identification and that you have a uh, an account with their, uh, their uh, criminal organization. Anyways, I find uh, that a bit serendipitous that uh, someone named Silver Stallion a fellow Canuck comes uh, on there to help me out and point me out to these guys. I'd also like to thank Trudder over at YouTube. He's very helpful. Also a fellow Canuck. He has a website, um, CanadianSilverBullion.com. You might want to go check that out if you're interested in purchasing some silver and you live in Canada and you don't want everything to be recorded by Big Brother because it happened in the 30s. The governments came and confiscated all the gold and silver and they'll try to do it again because what they want to do, they want to give you worthless paper, worthless fiat currency for your hard earned labor and turn that into silver and gold for themselves. As Alex Jones says, silver and gold is the currency of the elite and the man is dead on Trust me, they don't have paper money. Not even, it's just all digital now. They, and anyways, they don't have that sitting in their bank. They have real gold, real silver. And definitely not that tungsten stuff that some countries have now. But we all know who to blame for that. When I was young, I spent most of my money on bikes, booze, and broads. The rest, unfortunately, I wasted in my uh, typical youthfully uh, profligate manner. But late, as of late I uh, have decided to uh, purchase some real wealth and take my money out of the bank and get something that can really accrue value over time. Basically you could take your money out of the bank and go bury it in the backyard. But 10-20 years down the road it's not going to be worth much. You're not going to be able to exchange it for the same things you could 20 years ago. Silver and gold, on the other hand, you can do that. 10, 20 years down the road or whatever, you can go in the backyard, dig it out of the ground, and basically exchange it for the exact same types of goods that you could have in the past. So it's going to keep its value. Now I'll give you a little closer look at these coins. This one troy ounce point nine 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 percent silver. It's got this really neat graphic on it. Um, it's an Incan or Mayan temple. I'm not quite sure. It's got the website there at the bottom, www.firstmajestic.com. Uh, Canadian company, I believe. They're based in Vancouver. Very well minted. It's minted by a company called. Northwest Territorial Mint in the U.S. They come in these neat little tubes. Each tube holds 21 ounce bullion coins. And for each tube that you purchase, they give you one of these um, fancy certificates of authenticity. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wow. Yeah, me too. So, I was thinking of getting some gold, and I still think that's a good idea, and I do plan on doing that in the near future. But premiums on small amounts of gold, something that you could use as currency when the system finally does bottom out, and it's going to bottom out people. 
Uh, yeah. Exchanging an ounce of gold for uh, some day-to-day -day needs is uh, going to be a bit difficult because of the high high value of an ounce. But silver, on the other hand, it's relatively cheap, and an ounce of silver you could basically exchange for whatever you'd need: fuel, batteries, water, food, whatever. Enough to get you through a few days or whatever, right? So, definitely the way to go. Definitely, even if you don't believe in the New World Order, you don't believe in the banksters and that you think our government has our best interests at heart and the banks are wonderful institutions, still, go get yourself some silver. Go get yourself some gold. Do yourself a favor. Worst case scenario, you'll have some nice shiny objects. Thanks for watching my video. Knighted. Oh.